when that full story come out, that footage come out, and they show y'all how I was in there with my one-year-old daughter, my five-year-old little nigga, my baby mama, on some family shit, and these nigga walked up on me, tried me, whipped out on my whole family. A lot of you niggas owe me an apology, dog. Nigga talking like they family was in danger. Nigga, it was a 40 up on my family, nigga. Fuck is y'all talking? Y'all family wasn't in danger. Y'all just heard gunshots. And if them gunshots ain't go off, nigga, motherfucking daughter could've got hit. Son could've got hit. Me. Motherfucking lawyers and shit telling me not to say nothing and all that shit. But fuck all that. Like, nigga, to uh, two niggas walk down on you and your whole motherfucking family, threaten y'all, whip out on y'all. Nigga, let me see what y'all gonna do. You feel me? I wasn't in no motherfucking produce section. I wasn't grocery shopping. I would buy my baby some more winter clothes. Nigga, it's cold outside, nigga. You niggas see me buying baby clothes and these niggas wanna come show me how tough they is and shit. Come on, my nigga. Quit playing. All y'all extra motherfuckers, like, I really don't give a fuck how y'all feel. Like, nigga try to take my life from my one year old daughter, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? From my one year old daughter. Like, quit playing with me, nigga. Quit playing. Till y'all see that footage, till y'all get the story from the police, shut the fuck up. I don't wanna hear none of that shit, nigga. Don't, nigga, and let that man family grieve in peace and leave my family alone because I'm dying by my eyes right there on the spot. All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? I want to start this video off by saying this. It'll make more sense towards the end of the video. I believe social media is the devil, all right? Now, here's what has happened. Over the last 48 hours, Charlotte's rapper DaBaby was involved in an incident in which a 19-year-old was killed. All right now, the baby is claiming, and he says that he has surveillance footage inside of a Walmart to back this. The baby is claiming that he was with his family. He had his daughter with him, one years old, I believe. He said he was shopping for some winter clothes, and uh, somebody tested him. A 19 year old tried him. He had a strap on him, trying to rob the baby inside of the store. Maybe the baby face was recognizable, and the guy was trying to test him. The baby is claiming, and this is his words, not not reports. This is what he's saying. He said he had his weapon on him. He unleashed fire and he killed the guy who was trying to rob him right there in Walmart. And he shot him in the abdomen and the guy died out. He bled out. Now, I look at the situation as super sad. I wasn't trying to justify anybody trying to rob someone the other day. I don't I don't want that energy out in the atmosphere. I was just the point I was trying to make is it's just sad to see someone not step in this dude's ear and be like, yo, this is stupid. My brother, could you just do something else. If you need money, go do something else. Like trying to rob somebody and take from another man, especially a black man. That ain't it, bruh. Because the dude who did this was black as well. Like, that's all I was trying to say. It's 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 messed up, man. That you know, we gotta see one of our own die. And it's because of his own doing, essentially, if this story is correct. Now, in regards to the baby, his name has been drugged on social media the last 48 hours. A lot of people are like, yo. Why you kill that man? Why you... Listen, man. I'm the type of person who believes somebody... Uh, an attack on my family is an attack on everything that I work hard for, everything that I stand for. I can't promise you that you're going to live if you try to attack me or my family. I'm just... That's just how it is. So if the baby story is true, I respect what he had to do for his... And I just hate someone had to die in it, but it is what it is. The reason why I started this video off by saying social media is the devil, right? Here's what the craziest thing about society is, right? The baby knows that he shouldn't be on Instagram on his story making videos explaining what happened to something that right now is an open case. All right, they'll probably close it as long as they the surveillance video backs up his story. But for right now, this is an open case. The baby knows darn well, he's street savvy enough to know he should not be on camera giving a statement, which is what he's doing. I don't care what happened, he knows he shouldn't be doing that. And I'm not blaming the baby here. Salute to the baby. Salute to Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, salute to y'all rap scene. Y'all got down there. I love Charlotte. I'm not blaming the baby. I'm blaming this era that we're in. This is what scares me about social media going forward. Like, social media is so taxing. If you allow it to be, it's such a mental... It, it plays such a mental warfare with you. People were in his comment section. I'm sure he's, his mentions are probably blowing up more than ever. And he's a fairly popular artist in his area, in his region. He, 
I'm sure people are hitting him up by the thousands. Like, yo, you did this, you did that. And he couldn't help himself because the public um, persona or the public message about him had gotten so negative. He knows he, he knows he shouldn't be on camera speaking about anything about that right now. He couldn't help himself. It's not just the baby doing this, ladies and gentlemen. We're all victims of this. And that's why I said I believe social media is, is the devil. I'll take it a step further, man. Um, I don't I have not read the Bible in totality. I've read scriptures, a couple scriptures, you know. I know this though. There is a uh passage or there is talk about how this world will end. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I know maybe for this country. I think social media is gonna be the one that ends us, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I just think social media is gonna be the thing that ends us because I think the end of the world is already in. The what's gonna end the world is already here, and I think it's social media. If we got people at the point where they can't help themselves, they gotta speak on a shooting that left someone dead because the the, the comments are too crazy, the DMs are too crazy. We're in troubling times, ladies and gentlemen. That is the saddest thing about all this, right? That's, we're in there's somebody dead right maybe it was a justified kill or not you know but we got people who and a lot of us are like this we couldn't take the heat we gotta come in on we gotta clear our name in the minds of social media when we all know it's mostly 13 year olders with phones in their hands all day making these comments we're in troubling times ladies and gentlemen Anywho, the baby clears his name and he gives his side of the story and says he's with his family and somebody tried to rob him. He had to do what he had to do. Y'all talk to me in the comment box below. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Please subscribe to my platform and please hit me on Instagram, Miss Telefell TV. You automatically make yourself eligible for my giveaways. I'm going to do this holiday season. Take care of that business right now. Instagram, Miss Telefell TV. I'm out. I came from nothing. But I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV. Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.